my eyes. Good. 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 Hi, this is Kim. Hi, Kim. Nice to meet Mark you. And Mark and Mary. Hi, Mary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And who's this? Jack. Hey, Jack. You can you wear Jack? I love you. We were greeted on Saturday morning with the ornate ironwork of this lift bridge and lock, which seemed like a vision from a movie like the Wild West, but in reality they are part of the Hennepin Canal. The canal was built at the turn of the last century as a way to avoid the 400 mile detour created by the Illinois River's famous elbow where the river abruptly heads south towards Peoria. completed in 1907 and was one of the last of the canals built in the United States. It actually became the model for the Panama Canal and many of the concrete techniques used on the Hennepin were duplicated a few years later in the Panama Canal. In planning this trip, Mark Morrell made the very wise choice to go from west to east, even though initially the current was going in the opposite direction. This is because the prevailing winds come from the west. We had 10 to 15 mile an hour winds at our tail all day and it was wonderful to not have to fight the wind. In fact, we could even put up a small sail. This would be an excellent beginner's canoe trip. The scenery and the topography are more varied than you would expect, and there is camping all along the corridor for which the DNR charges $8 a night. <laughs> 